what's really good? Today, we have a display of greatness. The best Pokemon ever made, Pikachu. He's the greatest, he's the strongest, he's the fastest. We have the technology to make him even better. It's called Lightning Rod and Extreme Speed, bitch! Anyway, so Pikachu's the greatest Pokemon of all time, so I decided to make a team with my boy PokeAimMD. Shout out to my boy Joey. Showcasing the strengths and... There, there's no weaknesses of Pikachu, so I'm just going to showcase the strengths of Pikachu. And I got a battle against Kazo War. Now, the thing about Kazo is that Kazo is a very smart man, and he does very weird things to his Pokemon games. For this instance, <laughs> you'll notice his team looks fairly similar to mine, and that's probably because it's exactly identical. Because he made, like, the script or whatever that allows him to, I guess, import his opponent's team or something like that into his own game. Like, it takes the data of the of the team that my, that your opponent brings and just puts it in your battle box. So that explains why he has the same exact team as me. And, yeah. So, uh, Pikachu rules and stuff. So, anyways, I'm going to leave with my Politoed, my swag, period. Because I really did not know what to lead with against my own team. So I just led with the first Pokemon in my party. And he leads with Pika, bitch! So I'm going to switch it to my own Pikachu because I'm expecting him to go for the electric type move. And uh, I'm going to get the big lightning rod. Boost the boost. Thanks for the boost, big bitch. And then I'm going to go for the extreme speed because extreme speed can take out a Pikachu because Pikachu is frail. Good lord. Any move will take out Pikachu. Literally any move from any level Pokemon will take out a Pikachu in one hit. Real talk. So anyways, he's going to double switch. Good move on his part. He forced me to switch out because uh, my Polytoad is Scarfed, so I didn't want to take a Hydro Pump or an Ice Beam because either one would have killed me. So I switched out to my uh, my Jirachi, but he also switched out to his Jirachi, which is my Jirachi. So he's going to go for the Stealth Rocks. I'm going to go for the Thunder because since his Pikachu is dead, he has absolutely nothing to take a Thunder from anything. And he's going to switch out to his own Swag, and he's going to get hit with a Thunder, and it's going to paralyze him. It's not really hacks if it's coming from a Jirachi because, you know, that's a 60% chance. So, me not getting a, a Parallax is uh, actually more Hex than uh, me getting a Parallax. Chia! So anyways, I'm going to go for another Thunder just take him out because I can. And he doesn't have a Pikachu on his team. Pikachu is a must-have on any Pokemon team. Just kidding. So anyways, he's going to go out to his problem. He's going to go for the Thunder. He's not going to get the Parallax. And I'm going to go for the Thunder. And I am going to get the Parallax, I think. Swag. So, um, <laughs> I'm just going to set up my Stealth Rocks next turn, I think. Is that what I do? I really don't remember what I did. I think I set up my Stealth Rocks. Yeah, okay. I set up my Stealth Rocks. And then next turn, I'm going to U-turn out to my Pikachu. And I'm going to get that big boost again. <laughs> so, um, I, I do get pretty lucky in this battle, not going to lie. Because, like, everything just seemed to go my way. I'm going to go for the U-turn now. He's going to go for the Thunder again. So, that's good for me that he actually ended up going for the uh, Thunder again. And I'm going to get the big uh, Lightning Rod boost. And and then you'll you guys are going to see that I get even luckier. I'm gonna go for the thunder, and then I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna take a huge chunk off of him right now with thunder, but uh, unluckily for him, he's gonna get parahexed, and um, I'm pretty sure a U-turn or an Iron Head would. No, Iron Head probably wouldn't have killed me. I probably would have been left with like a sliver of HP left, but U-turn definitely would have killed me. So if he went for the U-turn right there, then uh, that uh, parahex mattered a lot. But uh, nobody asked that, so he's gonna go out to his Irene, which is my, uh, you know, my tornadoes. <laughs> And I'm going to go out to my problem because my Jirachi, uh, you know, pretty much walls Tornadus because it's a steel type. And it um, can take uh, specs, hurricanes and stuff. Yeah. So, uh, once again, he, I'm going to get pretty lucky here. He's going to go for another hurricane and I'm not going to get the confusion hacks and I'm going to kill him off with the thunder. So, that that's not cool. But I'm, just, I'm just getting really lucky and he's getting, you know, the exact opposite. But uh, that's what happens when you copy people's teams, man. You don't, you don't do that. No, you don't do that. Anyways, he's gonna go out to his uh, probe, which is my, <laughs> my gosh. How the fuck did you do this shit, Kazo? <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go out to my own Tentacruel because Tentacruel walls Tentacruel, unless yeah, Tentacruel always walls Tentacruel. Shit. So um, I'm gonna get uh, these uh, rocks out of here because since his Stealth Rock is dead, he can't set them back up. So I might as well rabbit spin them away. So, um, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I think he switches out. Yeah, he switches out and goes to his, uh, Don't Touch Me, which happens to be Skarmory. And it's named that because the Skarmory has a rocky helmet. So, you know, if you touch him, you might hurt yourself. Don't touch me, nigga. You might burn yourself. Anyway, so I'd rather spin the, uh, rocks out of there. And then I'm just going to proceed to Scald and try to get as much damage as possible on this Skarmory. Now, I could switch into my Pikachu, but I thought he would go for the Brave Bird. And he actually doesn't end up going for the Brave Bird. 
So I ain't fucking with that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get a little bit of HP back from the uh, you know the black sludge and the leftovers, and then I'm gonna take some burn damage. Now he's gonna switch out right back to his probe. I'm just gonna go for Scald again because Scald would have uh, taken out the Skarmory from there. I probably should have switched out to my Pikachu there, predicting the Roost or the switch out, but it was pretty unnecessary for me to do because you know I'm at such an advantage. I'm getting really lucky once again. But now all I need to do is force this uh, Tendercrow out and then I'll be able to sweep his entire team with Pikachu. PIKACHU! <laughs> so in order to force this Tendercrow out, I'm going to send out my swag. Swag, swag. Female swag. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go for Parasong just to, uh, you know, force him to either switch or die. So if you don't switch your... Uh, Parasong is a good move. Who Whose idea was Parasong? If you don't switch out, you die. Hello? That's just, that's genius. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm going to switch out to my Irene, expecting him to switch out to something. I don't know. But he actually decides to stay and go for another Scald, and he burns me now! But I have an extremely powerful Hurricane, which uh, will annihilate you and uh, take over half. And, oh my lord, I did way too much damage. Um, but he ends up surviving and he kills me off with a skull, so the score is like 5-3 now, but never fear, motherfucking Pikachu is here. So, <laughs> oh my lord. So I'm just going to proceed to destroy his entire team with Thunder and, um, Pikachu is just too strong. Which is why I made a strong Pokemon song about Pikachu, but I don't know when it will be uploaded, to be honest, but, um, I'm hoping it will be uploaded soon enough. I'm pretty sure we're going to make a music video for it, but uh, just, it, it, just, it needs to be done. Pikachu does not get the respect that it deserves. Pikachu is the greatest. BITCH! 